Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we're going to begin demolishing the inside of this closet and building a custom tool storage. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech and we're going to begin today's project by removing all the interior wood and all these shelves. Now that is a dust sweater. A lot of imperfections here. From here, we are going to compound all of these holes and imperfections. After that, sand it down and paint this room. From here, we're gonna let it dry, sand it down and paint. Everything has dried up and now we can sand everything down. super smooth, everything is sanded down. From here, we can begin painting. All right, the room is painted, it looks great. Got some shelves, some brackets, and some hangers of such. And let's start designing this and getting everything mounted. So my idea here is to keep all the heavy tools on the bottom and I want to start the shelves starting from here. If you can see, we have a little laser point going. So we can start above that. And I am using the Bosch Professional GLL30 laser. This thing is awesome. So let's start mounting these shelves. All right, so we cut some shelving and put on some brackets for our first row. And now we're gonna drill some holes and put on our anchors and hang everything. All right, so the first shelf is up. It stays inside of this bracket here. And we're gonna come across this way and we're gonna make a few rows going up and this side of the wall is gonna be free. So that's the idea. Keep all the heavy stuff down here. And we're gonna make our way across a few rows, making these L shapes to the ceiling. And keep this free. We can hang a ladder there and all a bunch of things. So this is the idea. And we're gonna repeat this process to the top. All right. We got two down, that looks great. And we're gonna make our way up all the way. And it looks like we could fit about four to five shelves here at about 15 inches tall. So that's perfect. It's coming out great. And once again, just when you repeat the process. All right, that looks absolutely amazing. We left this wall clean, so this can remain a walk-in closet so we actually can get inside. And I also want to hang some things on this side. So I'm going to use this type of hanger up top so I can hang the ladder. And I might add another piece here so we can add things like a broom and a mop, stuff like that. So let's see how that comes out. But this looks absolutely amazing and it was all, worth all the time and effort. stay in the corner we have all our space to make our way around and we can still walk in comfortably and utilize all of this space 
I got this piece here where you kind of just let's like open it up and it can hold things. So I was thinking about putting something like this here so I can keep my brooms, my mops, dusters, and things like that. So everything will be off the wall. And All right, these clips are now up. This is super organized. This is hanging up there. Perfect walk-in closet. Utilize all this storage. We can walk inside, as you can see. Everything is neatly done and tucked in. I think this came out absolutely amazing from here. We just got to pack up all our tools and we have ourselves a custom tool storage. All right, this is it. This was the vision. This came out absolutely amazing. Everything is nicely organized and neat. This is great. Perfect. And it's fully functional. You can actually walk inside. This is great. You can actually walk in, reach everything you need. Just about everything can be reached. And this is great. Wow. Perfect. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.